Hello, this is Lena. Uh, recently, we got many inquiry about the catalyzed labs. So today, we're gonna use this video to show you how we do the calculation for the catalyzed lab. Okay? So we got a very um, easy drawing today. So I'm gonna using this drawing uh, as an example to show you how to do the calculation. Um, so besides the detail size, uh, like the lengths and widths, we also need to know other three points. Uh, the other, the first one is the aging. Okay, we need to know uh, how many sides need to be done the aging work, and the the other part is about the uh, hole, like how many holes do we have for the uh, top, and the third one is um, about the joint age. Uh, like this one, this one, uh, the customer do not require any joint age, and uh, uh, it has has two holes. Okay, one is for the sink, and the other is for the uh, for side. Uh, so uh, after we know all the information, we can do the calculation. The calculation table can be separate uh, into three parts. Uh, the first part is to calculate the net area. Uh, we know the width and length uh, is very easy to calculate. And then uh, we calculate the fabrication part. Uh, we need to add up um, the cutting, aging, and the um, whole cutting. And um, uh, the packing fee, we got the total fabrication fee for each side. And uh, then after the customer choose uh, what color and what size and thickness uh, he want for the slab, uh, we can get uh, the unit price for the slab. And then we use the unit price to multiply the net area to get the slab fee. And uh, we put the slab fee and the uh, fabrication fee together to get the total fee for each slab, okay? So it's not that complicated, okay? Uh, if you still have any question about the cut size slab, uh, please leave a message to us, okay? We are very happy to answer any question from you, okay? Thank you. Uh, see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Have a great day.